Okay, this is a, a video to show everyone how to use Taobao. Uh, for those who don't already know, it's not hard. You don't need to mess with anything like uh, Alipay or bank account or anything like that. You can just go up here to the right, upper left side, log in. That's this little deal here. Okay, if you know your login, if you don't have an account, you can Google how to do that. It's really easy to get an account. Log in. Okay, and sometimes there's a little thing that pops up here, but it's not showing now. Let's log in and see what happens. Okay, so once you've logged in, uh, let's see what we want to check out on cheese. It's always nice to buy, right? Sure, I'll save password. So I'm going to look for some cheese. Find some random cheese. Ah, here's some cheese. Let's buy that, okay? Just click on it. You don't have to know Chinese to do this. You can right-click and translate stuff, but obviously that's a shopping cart. We're going to go with shopping cart. Go ahead and check out on that junk. No, I don't want to translate. I can do this. Oh, look, checkbox. It must mean it's working. Hmm, this means continue shopping. This must mean checkout. We'll try that one. I'm guessing. I don't know. Checkout sounds good. Huh, there's my cheese sitting on my cart. Some junk is happening. Let's select this item and check out on it. 1666. It's 12 slices of cheese. 250. Sounds about right for China. Oh, 16 RMB. Okay, now I got to pay for shipping. Notice it comes up here with my address. Already in here. Good to go. And 8 RMB shipping. I can pay for insurance if I want. I'm not a big fan of insurance. I could care less. Or maybe that's a discount. It's like a discount. I guess I'll take that. Why not, right? Okay, anyway, 25 RMB. Okay, check out. Notice what it does here for me. Pops into. Come on, load, load, load. Not a patient man when it comes to loading pages in China. Of course, since everyone's watching, it's not going to load. But. Notice it's going to Alipay here, cashier, and pops up with lots of options eventually. And one of your options here is credit card. See that MasterCard? I've got two MasterCards on file. All I have to do is select the year and the month of the checkout of my current card, which I already have in here, put in my CID, which is the you know the number on the back of the card, and then I can immediately check out and I'm done. And it, it does. I'm not going to go through the hassle to do it. But if you select MasterCard or Visa, you can do that. Notice you can do other things too, but that's the easiest way to check out right there. Just use your MasterCard. I have my PayPal debit card I use and check out and I'm done. So hopefully that helps somebody out. It doesn't have to, you don't even have to use Chinese, but if you want to, you can just right click and hit translate to English. And look, hey, there you go. Overseas, choose the following payment methods. You can go how to pay. This PayPal, by the way, is not real PayPal. These are, I'm an overseas person, so it knows I can do that. You can also use, uh, other methods here if you want. See I have three MasterCards set up on here because I've used different cards over the years. Um, you can also add a credit card. There's lots of options for you. Okay, so I'm not going to bother to check out, but that's how it works. Since I'm overseas method, automatically checks changes to that. And uh, that's how you do it. So it should be pretty easy. Hopefully that helps somebody.